Hello YouTube. Well, I gotta catch my breath. I just got done doing the truck. You'll see the video on that. Now we're off on the lawnmower. It's so warm, I'm so far behind it. And wine, wine, wine. There. there that'll end that rant. <laughs> if it ain't fun, I don't want it. I just watched a video this morning. Mr. Bruce Pender lives up in Canada. And he had a mower where somebody had the wrong piece on here. They're metric. Well, see how that wobbles? That's the one that came on here. So be aware of that. If you ever change this, don't get one that's any sloppier than this. Of course, you got your bolt. Okay. So your blade looks. That shape. And there's the shape there. Then the pegs for the holes. So make sure you put it on the right way. When you're underneath, the blade spins counterclockwise. I'm not a mower mechanic or want to make mower videos, but just a little tip from a change oil. This mower. I'll show a picture up. I mowed this mower for over six years. Uh, I felt bad. I mowed it last year. I just used it for trimming because I got parts of the property out in the alley where junk had been thrown by a junk man that lived next door. We're not going to take our new mower out there. We're going to take this whole thing out there. So that's why it's still scrunchy. It hasn't been washed off from last year. So let's get to work. Get this oil changed. We'll show you what this mower looks like still. I had a video on washing it up, but back to work. Okay, see how bad the blade is. We're going to file it. No need to grind. We're just going to file it and sharpen it. We've done that for years since we were a kid. We probably have done this with a grinder before to put an edge back on it. But you can see the garbage I hid on the back out by the alley behind my big garage and stuff. So, so I don't take my good mower out there. So stay tuned. We'll bring you back here and show you a shot when it's all filed. Yeah, we'll let you hear the train. It's kind of ragged, but it's filed. Said so I'm back from. I bet it ain't even two minutes since I said I'll be back and sharpen it. And I did take the burrs off the back. It's kind of jagged, but for where this is gonna mow, it does not matter. This is not gonna be in the beautiful part of my yard. But there you go. It's that simple with a file. You know, just get in there and find your angle and go for it. That's it's better than taking a grinder to it if you don't have to. Stay tuned, we'll get this job done yet. Okay, we're done, our battery symbol's showing up. I'm doing the old balance test with a screwdriver. It's kind of hard, it's got kind of like a funky groove in there, but it's close enough. I mean, you go like this, it wants to go that way. It's good enough for the old mower. If it's brand new, I might get a little picky. That's just cheap, simple way to balance your blade. You know, if you put it in here and it's like this, you better do something. It means it's heavy here. And I always take off maybe with the grinder, see this curve? Still some metal out of there. Don't don't change shape really. Still maybe a little metal out of here, somewhere. Don't take it off the edge. Don't keep sharpening the edge. Let's flip it over. Let's go for it here. See, that's the side I expect being heavy. Now it's over on the left. But I said it's got that funky notch. See what it's doing when I play with it? What's that? It's good enough for me. Maybe not for you. Okay, back to work again. We'll get the oil dumped in this thing and we'll be out mowing with it. Take a picture at Somebody tell me what horsepower this is because nowadays they don't do it like the old days. I did put about a half ounce of Lucas oil treatment. That's just cheapest oil I could find in a dollar store besides the dollar store brand. So. We did drain out as much gas as we get out when we had it tipped over. We tipped it that way because the oil plugs on the bottom over there. Then drained out the oil into a pan and dumped as much gas out as we could. Because uh, we always keep uh, sea foam in it, so we're not afraid to leave gas in it all winter. We've never had a problem leaving fuel in the gas tank. I'd rather do that and have it dry out. So here we go. Next scene you'll see when this baby's fired up and running. Back here, I don't have to yell. I'm not lying, trust me. It started on the first pull. I primed like four or five times, pulled it one good pull, and the way it went. You gotta figure I had it tipped up and stuff too, so it probably got a lot of fuel up in the carburetor when I was draining it. So it probably wasn't really dry, because your tank has a little bowl in there where it gets the gas from it, pumps it too. Kind of like a little well. First pull. There we go, we're ready to mow. We're gonna go mow some. Nasty old weeds and grass out back. Thanks, 
for watching.